Raider Nation, it's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Back with another quick video, the views expressed to your graphic podcast. Welcome to the Black Hole or Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get straight to it, man. Is the Nate Hobbs hype real? Look, man, the self-proclaimed best underdog has been praised, man, by both Trayvon Mullen, our third-year corner, and D coordinator Gus Bradley. That's really big, man. They're saying he's already ahead of the curve at the nickel corner position. Um, look, he's played under a great defensive mind, Lovey Smith at Illinois. We know Lovey Smith has had some success in the NFL, even at the head coaching level. He's a defensive minded guy. And, you know, if you can play great under him and learn a lot under him and bring that into the NFL, man, I feel like he's maybe already ahead of the curve. Look, six foot 195, the fifth rounder played in only five games last season. But he still totaled 31 total combined tackles, one INT, three passes uh, defense. That's great in only five games. His experience in the cover three defense makes him a perfect fit in Gus Bradley's system. I truly believe that this is Gus Bradley's guy. He may be the starting nickel corner, y'all. Um, he needs to work on locating the ball. That's kind of uh, something that he really, really needs to work on. But we know that Ron Miles and Bradley... They're known to get the best out of the DBs, and I feel like they're going to fix that problem. Um, training, they're already saying that he's turning heads right now at training camp. It's a good sign, man, but the pads have not come on yet, so we still got to pump the brakes a little bit. Like I said, he did miss five games uh, his senior season due to injuries, but he's back. He's healthy. He's ready to go. If he can remain healthy, man, he could be a really good player for us. That's Trayvon Mullen's words, just quoting the guy. I love his hunger, man. I love the will, he, uh, the, the will that he wants to get better, man, that he wants to improve his game. It seems like every time he's talking to media, he's always talking about how he can improve his game and take it to the next level. You love it, man. You love to see someone this young, that hungry. Um, after a bad, bad, bad Purdue performance, um, he made no excuses. He just came out and said, I'm, I promise I'm going to get better. And that's what you want to hear out of these guys. He sounds like he's really mature for his age. I love it, man. I'm excited to see where we can go with Nate Hobbs. Look, the pants are not on yet, so I'm not going to buy the hype yet. But it's good to hear all these great things coming out of camp this early. Shout out to Nate Hobbs. Leave me some comments in the comment section, y'all. What do y'all think Nate Hobbs will do for us this season? You think he'll be more of a special teams guy, more of a rotational piece? Or will he be a starter at the nickel position? Let me know, man. It's your boy, Graphic Raider. The views expressed to your graphic podcast. I love y'all nation. One.